Hello my crafty friends, this is Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here to uh, share a couple things with you today. Uh, I've been doing some uh, crafting in a, while watching TV, so mobile crafting or TV crafting or on the go crafting, whatever you want to call it. I want to show you what I've accomplished in the last week. And also I wanted to sh demonstrate another way I was using or I've been using the Craftspire ribbons that I picked up. Um, I've got the purple one. Uh, I don't have it right here on my table today, but I showed you that one in the last couple of videos. And I just put these in this Kleenex box for the moment because they are driving me a little crazy because there's so many here and I needed to contain them for the moment. So I just wanted to show you. These are the ones I'm going to be using today. The glittery ones and maybe some of these little green ones. So yes, I picked those up. these up at craftspire.com. And really cool that they have, uh, you know, ribbons and trims besides the, you know, wax stamp or wax seal uh, supplies. So, uh, yes, I use them. Let me show you one thing. Uh, most of these, a lot of these ribbons here on the top of this journal that I just finished uh, are from, see the glittery ones, and here's the little green ones. They are the Crest Bar Ribbons, and don't they make a cute little paper clip that, you know, when you see those on the top of a journal, they just add. I think that's a lot of fun uh, to the journal. So, yeah, this journal is finished, and I'm going to be doing the uh, flip through this week, so stay tuned for that. It's already in my shop if you're interested. Uh, so what have I been working on this week? I uh, had a little like this, a scrapbook paper pad. This is like four by six, something like that. Four by, is this, did I say eight? That's not eight, let me, let me see, is it eight? I was thinking four by six. Four by six and a half, and this, that's six and a half, and this is uh, four and a half. Okay, so I had another one of these, like this, and this one's flowers really pretty. I got this on, I think I got this on scrapbook.com or or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure which one I got it on. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby actually. I got one of their sales. Buy one, get one 50% off. Or These were on sale in some way anyway about a year ago. And so I had another one with these papers in there. <laughs> the whole thing. I don't think I had used any of it. I don't think I've used any of the flower one either. But uh, I, I thought, let me do something with this because I was actually looking for paper for another craft or, or think something I'm doing. I'll show you part of that in a second. But I came across this. Oh, here's one that's not rounded. <laughs> I missed a corner here. Uh, right there. <laughs> anyway, I took that, took every single page like this, took it out of here, cut it in half and rounded the corners. <laughs> that's all. But now I have all of these ready to go and I can decorate these. I can add little, you know, clusters or top toppers or I can put them in a journal just like this. This is uh, this is the cover to another uh, paper pad I was using. This one here, I'll show you in a second. I cut up the cover and made this little journaling card, but this is all from that other paper pad, okay, that I was using, like the flower one. All of those journal cards that is quite a lot so anyway those are ready to go that's from the cover of this one and so I'm going to do something with this in the coming week this week but I did all of those in one night I couldn't believe it only took me one night so actually uh, I did some, some during TV time and then some after I was doing a little crafting after TV time so yeah it was one night, but uh, it did take more than TV time to do it because we don't watch a lot of TV, <laughs> but a little bit. So I'm going to fix that one. So then I also pulled out a 6x6 six six paper pad that I got. This one I got from Michael's, and it was also on sale one time. I was looking online for something, and I saw that uh, this this one was on sale. I really thought it was cool, and so and the price was, I mean, it was so inexpensive. So I took this one, I had used a few of these in a journal, and took this one and went ahead and cut all the pages. I just took them all out, cut them in half. This was the same night, all of this in one night. So another paper pad I finished out, finished out and used up. But I took them all, cut them in half, and made these little tags. 
and I did it put cut a little uh, slot punch hole in it right here at the top of each one of these so these are now also ready to go like this one I feel like I could use it all by itself I could put a ribbon up there through there and I could or I could decorate some of them or you know add a sticker or whatever I want to do but uh, they're ready to go now they're not sitting in the paper pad anymore so I really like I really like that I think I'm gonna be able to if I get things ready like that I'll be able to be more productive when I'm doing a journal not like trying to on the spot make things that be I mean I have a lot ready to go you know I make ephemera all the time but you know I'll have these ready to go too and another thing that's not sitting in my you know in my stash waiting for me to do something with it these I cut from the cover of this I believe too uh, or no this was from the cover of the other one this was from the cover of the journaling cards I just showed you with the like, kind of like black and white and those colors this these little this was the cover so I cut these little tags from the cover and also punched a little slot punch in the top so nice sturdy little you know they were white on the back so nice sturdy little tags there and I can add a ribbon to those so that and then the other thing I did this week was let me move these over for a second and I did the all of these this week so I did these during TV time and I also took a lunch some a paper pad to lunch to, to work with me and on one of my lunch breaks I cut some papers so TV time and lunch break I got one lunch break I got all of these done so uh, what I did was go through let's see now what is all this here um, I, I'm trying to think if I had scraps or what, but I made all of this ephemera this week. These were, this is from a cover where I cut out, you know, they have little examples of the scrap of paper on the cover. So I cut out all the little squares and added a sticker. So these are all little pieces ready to go from a cover, all those little squares right there. These two were also from the cover. I didn't cut, the, cut them into squares, see how they're squares? I just kept these two together like that and punched a hole and put a little piece of fabric, scrap fabric in the top. So those I got done. These are were some cutoffs, that's what these were. Some of these were cutoffs and I just folded them in half, rounded the corners and added a little sticker on the front so you have a little journaling spot. So I got all of these ready to go. Aren't they cute? <laughs> these are Timo stickers. The little postage stamp Timu stickers. Uh, here's another one. This was, I think this was a piece of scrapbook paper or from the cover. I think it was a piece of scrapbook paper. I added a little Timu sticker there. And this one too. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then this was a little piece of scrap paper. Scrap, scrap, scrapbook paper. Just added a little sticker there. These two, I got some other stickers out and added to these. These were cut aparts, and I cut them apart, rounded the corners, and added these little. These were all. These are also Timus, like acetate, you know, the see-through stickers. I added those to those two. Super cute. Um, yeah, these are some little things I wanted to, you know, kind of use up. I had quite a few of them, so these were cut aparts from the paper pad I was trying to use up this week. A 12 by 12. And these were cut aparts in there, so I cut them apart and added these little pieces. They're not stickers, they're just little cardboard, you know, pieces. And with a cute little, that's, I guess that's a cherry, a heart that is a cherry, and that's a little alligator. But just those little pieces I wanted to use, and just kind of like made little tags out of all of those little cut aparts. Let's see, here's another one, <laughs> a little skinny one. Here's one I added a Coca Cola bottle to this cut apart. So yeah, I had some fun this week, didn't I? This one I folded in half so it can go over a page or be a flip up on a page. But I added that little piece to it. You see how I kind of, you know, I kind of tried to match, but almost, you know, you almost don't really have to worry about matching because you just put things together sometimes and they just look cute. That's just a cut apart. I thought it was cute by itself, but I rounded the corners. That one, this one I added the little frog there. This one I added the heart and the butterfly I added on that one. Those little stickers. This is a sticker I added to this one. Added this little 3D butterfly on that one. All during TV time and the craft and the lunch break. Well the lunch break I did the pages. These were these little 
ephemera pieces I did during TV time. Okay, so some of this I did dur during TV time, and some of this I did on my craft, on my uh, crafting lunch break, because I was working on. I just wanted to make get some pages ready for for journals of this size, so that I don't have to, you know, how it is if you make journals, you're constantly, you know, making the pages. You know, you're you're just it. You know, you're picking out the pages, you're making the pages. You know, all the steps. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool, you know, I have these paper pads and I have all the scrapbook paper, why, you know, and I, I guess it made me think of it because I worked on some journals during TV time and I always kind of have been like stuck to my craft room, like I have to be in my craft room to make pages and to, and to make, to really work on a journal except for like ephemera and that stuff, I could do that in the other room. But I started working on a journal in there. I was like, oh, I can really make pages in here. All I need is my paper and my paper cutter pretty much. You know, maybe some glue to make pockets. But so that's what I did. I took one paper pad in there that I wanted. Like I just had a little bit left in it. Like, you know, it probably started out with 50 sheets or something like that. And I had like, I don't know, uh, say 15, 20 sheets left in it. So that's what I did with this. And this is not. This is one paper pad plus a little, plus some paper, just some eight and a half by eleven colored paper. So like this was um, this was a cut off. So I just have it like this for now as a page, a little page. And then all of these. Oh, this was some eight and a half by eleven computer paper that I had dyed on the back. So I just cut it down to this size. I wanted them to be all about this size. This was with some eight and a half by eleven uh, blue paper. You can see it's white on the other side, but just, you know, a lot of this I picked up at thrift stores. Oh, maybe that blue paper is from, that's from a scrapbook paper pad. That's what that's from. That's not 8.5 by 11. All these were these plain colors here. These were mixed, you know, the paper pad had solid colors like this with white on the back. And they had, you know, flowery type pages. So all of these, you can see I, this is a pattern here. And they're just, you know, and then I have all the cutoffs I got to do something with. Maybe I'll work on those this week too. I have those still in the other room, but this is a piece of cardstock. But just to show you, here's more on that computer paper. See, these ones I <clears throat> folded up a little bit. I was like, some of them I didn't want to cut off, make more scraps. It was just that little piece. So I turned it over and glued it down for a decoration. But um, we need to get started on our, our ribbons. But anyway, all of this, all of these pages I made this week by cut, just cutting them down. And some of them, I, some of them have pockets. A few of them have pockets somewhere. But here, like here's one with a pocket. It's upside down. But <laughs> you see what I mean? Poc some of my pockets. And I was making a lot of pockets. And I thought, oh, I need some without pockets. You know, I don't want to have all pockets. So I had made a lot of pockets. Here's what, uh, on some of them I turned over, so like this was a whole 12 by 12 piece of paper here, and I just turned over the side where it was a little bit too wide and glued it down, and then I folded up the bottom and made a pocket so I wouldn't have to have any cutoffs from some of the pages. So yeah, that was all of my mobile on the go TV crafting this week. So yeah, back to the ribbon, I have a little container here. And you can see, this is where I keep my paper clips, my decorated paper clips. And as you can see, it's pretty sparse. It's getting a little low. Sometimes I put these in my orders, and a lot of times I put a lot of them, as you could see from that Halloween journal, a lot of them in my journal. So I'm getting a little low, so I need to make some more. So all I do, and I know you've seen this before, I just want to show you how pretty these ribbons are. I've got these colored, I have most in here is mostly colored paper clips. And here I have the bigger, you know, they call them uh, jumbo paper clips. And then this one is the little metal, metal paper clips. So I have plenty of paper clips here to decorate, but I just do it real simple. I mean, you can get, make it more complicated and add things to it. But um, let me see if I can kind of try to have these in here so I can just leave them in here and pull off what I need. So, I mean, all I do is, let's see, for my, I'm going to make some more um, Halloween and uh, 
Halloween of, I know, another, at least one more fall journal, hopefully. That's my plan anyway, if, if I don't get distracted by some other journal I want to make. <laughs> you know how it is. When the, when the muse strikes you, you have to just do what that, what it tells you, right? So anyway, um, just, I mean, I'm not going to look for a color because I'll get all hung up on the color. Here's a gold one, and this happens to have, well, this happens to have, it looks like silver. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to fuss with that. Or worry about it. I'm just gonna, you know, do this, and all I do is just this, this, just this little loop, you know, and that can go pretty quick. And you can make a lot of these if you watch an hour of TV at night. Get your paper clips and your ribbon out. You can have a bunch of these made in no time. Let's try a colored one here. With um, let's see, I haven't used this one yet. This is a pretty blue <clears throat> ribbon, and I don't think yeah, this is the original tape on it, and. Uh, so let's use a piece of this because I, I was noticing this as I put it in here, and I thought, oh, that is really pretty, and I haven't used it yet. So let's let's use one and see what it looks like. <laughs> it's uh, this guy. This has gold uh, glittery, in it, and none of this glitter comes off or anything. I haven't noticed it coming off or anything. So if you don't like glitter, you don't have to worry about this glittery uh, part of these ribbons coming off and making a mess in your wherever you craft so uh, there we go and you can make them shorter or longer uh, I just kind of pull a piece off and I don't really measure uh, and just you know go with it so you can see how fast it is let's use let's see if there's another color I haven't used we've got green the blue the green the gold the pink the uh, kind of burgundy ish light green that we just used purple gold red oh I don't think I've used this one and black so yes let's use one of these and this is a pretty reddish one I guess you would say and these all came I'm trying to think if they came as a set but yeah I'll have the links to these products yeah this was a set I think they had a couple different colored sets and I picked out this one because I thought it had colors I needed for you know Halloween and fall and all that Christmas and so um, I will have these products linked below as well as the crossbuyer.com website and a coupon code that is, <clears throat> I believe it's 10% off your entire order. So it's not 10% off $30 or more or anything like that. It's 10% off your entire order. It's Sherry 10, I believe, if I remember right. So I'll have that all below in case I told you anything wrong, but I don't think I did. But just that fast, you can make a lot of pretty paper clips, simple paper clips, but really pretty when they're all decorating and holding things in your journal. So I just, I love how that looks. I just, um, you know, I think that's really fun. So I'll add these to my little stash and I hopefully I'll be, have some time this week. I could just take my paper clips and my ribbons to work and craft on one of my lunch breaks. I have an hour lunch break every day so I could just spend an hour and I can see how many I'll see how many I can get done in an hour and so the other thing I wanted to share, I wanted to see how some of these metallic kind of glittery ribbons look. Um, let me bring them back over here because I moved them to put my paper clips away. But let's see how some of them look on some of these tags where I made the slot punch hole. So let's see, uh, I'm going to be a little picky on the color so I can kind of match these, uh, these tags. So this one right here is calling to me for this tag. I think that will be really pretty on the top. And so you don't, you know, if you're new to junk journaling and making ephemera, you know, you don't have to do all the layering and all that. You can make a pretty tag with just a few things like you can make one just like this just add a ribbon you know you don't have to use a slot punch like I did you can just use a regular hole punch and make a little hole stick your ribbon in there you can make the I, I didn't on purpose make the little angles you can make the angles but I just kind of wanted to have some just rectangles I thought this is so cute and look at that pretty ribbon how much it adds to the top of this all the glitter and these these are little see the butterflies are a little shimmery so I think that's the perfect finishing touch to this um, 
so that's a butterfly one. Let's add something to this plain one. See if we can liven that up with, oh, here's a purple glittery one. I need to put them back in here so they don't go everywhere. That's why I have them in this box, <laughs> trying to tame the, tame the ribbon. But look how pretty that is. These are nice sharp scissors here from Dollar Tree. So I have those here to cut my ribbon. <clears throat> I'm trying to make this one a little shorter. So we'll see how this one comes up. I do like making them long enough though, so they all, you know, if you put this in a pocket and uh, it can, if it can stick out the top of the journal, it looks really cute. Or if you say glue it down and it sticks out as, if you glue it down as a pocket and this would be sticking out the side or a tuck spot, I don't know. Anyway, this is how this one looks. Super cute, it adds a lot. And then somebody could use this for journaling. I can add something here when I put it in a journal if I want. Even something as simple as a sticker. So there we go. That one is now ribboned, has a little topper on it. Let's do one more. Let's see, we did a butterfly and a purple. Oh, here, let's do this pretty flowery one right here. Let's pick out one for this. So purple, the purple one would look good on here. Or I wonder how that blue one would look. I want to, uh, do I have a, oh, this pink one. We used the pink and purple. I had to use that again, but it really goes with this. Let's see which one. I think the purple would stand out more, though. The pink, the blue, the pink one would blend in, and this one will stand out a little more. So let's I try to make a little bit shorter one, but not too short because these are long tags, and I think they need a longer, a little bit, not too short of a topper on them. But this one's a little shorter than the others. So, and I like this ribbon because of the width. It's so thin, it'll fit through any little hole you, that you make in the top, right? And I love these for, you know, I made a tassel in my last video with this ribbon, and it's really beautiful hanging in a tassel. In fact, I'll show you my Halloween tassel there again, because that's one of the tassels I made with some of it. So there we go. Three tags with a beautiful, this beautiful ribbon from Craftspire. And then when you saw the paper clips, let me show you this tassel real quick on this journal. I forgot that I put some of this ribbon in here, but it just adds a really special touch. See, I added some of the purple ribbon and the gold ribbon in here, and doesn't it add a really nice touch? And there's the other purple one that I didn't use during this video. I used this video today. I used it in the, this tassel video, but... There's the purple ribbon. I got that from Crafts Buyer. And then the glittery ribbons add a lot in there, as you can see, them shining through the uh, tassel there. So anyway, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration from all my uh, mobile TV on the go crafting and got an idea of how you can use your ribbon no matter where you get it from. But if you haven't checked out Crafts Buyer, just take a peek over there at least to see all what they have, you know. And if you do find something, be sure to use my coupon code. So thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.